YouTube, it's me, Next Gen Slayer. I am here showing you how to live stream with the Elgato. Earlier, uh, I posted another video of how to live stream with any capture device, but this is specifically for the Elgato. So if you have an Elgato and you don't want to do the other way, you want to do a much easier way, then uh, here's the way how. Um, basically, it's a new update for the Elgato. Um, you can live stream directly from the the capturing device um, capturing device application it came with so you can also use your microphone to connect uh, give yourself audio so if you're talking you can also talk to the game and it will record your audio what you're using uh, so be heard be live uh, basically what that means is it live streams directly to twitch.tv and uh, you can download it for Mac or Windows so whichever one you have it works either way uh, so definitely check this out it's so awesome I'll show you the features real quick um, uh, so here you got your game capture HD device um, you're on capture it has the same that same as before same capture same edit tab um, the device, of course, the Elgato, it picks up usually. Um, mine's not plugged in right this second, as you can see. But um, you can go to Game Audio. This is br this is the same as before, where you just um, change your game volume from high to low, whatever, and uh, like that. If you go back up here, this takes you to the website um, of Elgato that we were just at. gives you information on that. And of course, you have your uh, preferences right here, and then um, your about Elgato right there. And uh, if we go down the live commentary, this is where you plug in your mic to your computer, and uh, you can talk. So right now, as you can see, I'm using a USB headset. Um, that's my mic that I plug into the computer. All you have to do is hit this button here, and uh, it activates the live commentary and you can change the game sound commentary balance so this just balances out your game sound with uh, what you're saying and then over here you can automatically reduce the game sound so basically what this is is when you click it it automatically uh, reduces the game sound when you talk so you can be heard uh, over the game and that the game doesn't overpower your sound or you can also go over here and do it manually um, I prefer just to do automatically just because that's easier for me and then the live streaming so you use your account my accounts next gen slayer so you can uh, check out my twitch account afterwards if you want uh, but you just hit add and uh, you here I'll show you I'm already signed in uh, with twitch uh, as you can see my account back there but uh, it takes you to the login screen directly to Twitch, which is really nice. You don't have to do any external stuff with this device. Uh, so you just sign in. Uh, you can sign up if you don't have one, but um, most of you who want to live stream probably have a Twitch account already and are just looking out how to live stream the easiest way. And then you can connect over here to uh, different servers like uh, San Antonio, Europe servers, wherever it doesn't matter they're all good well most of them are good as you can see the yellow is not as good as the green the red you probably don't want to connect to you probably want to connect to the green ones those are the best and then all you have to do to start live streaming is just hit this button like that button up there and um, you can mishmash so you can have your voice talking while the live streams going on and um, your status just type in random stuff um, not random stuff but what like the title of your uh, video and it does that and your bit rate of um, basically chooses the rate of uh, your the upload speed so the live streaming speed uh, make sure it's not too high that it's not if your internet connection is, is uh, pretty bad you want it like really low but if it's uh, good then you probably want it at least one megabyte per second and then you can also still record, um, just record it by itself, so you can upload it to YouTube later during the live stream. It doesn't really matter. And, of course, uh, there's down here where you make the title of your videos. So you can do all that during the live stream. I just thought this was pretty cool, and uh, you guys might want to see it. Uh, so definitely check it out. The link to the beta 
update is in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful. And uh, have a great Thanksgiving and a great uh, week, everyone. Peace.